This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Kings, Jim Marbella. I'm in Watford today for the big man's workout, Anthony Joshua, ahead of his first title challenge. What's happening, Anthony, right? I'm good, thank you, mate. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me down. How are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Must say, people at Watford seem to be getting behind you a little bit and good support in your hometown. Yeah, this is where I grew up, man. Um, London to Watford, Watford to London. I make this journey on a regular basis. I'm a familiar face here before boxing, so yeah. it's all good, it's all love, man, from my side and theirs. Indeed. How much of this would you normally do? Is it a case of just going through the motions today for the public? Public workout? Never. <laughs> it's always behind, a lot of this stuff goes on behind closed doors. I think until like I get to an elite level, I own my own gym or I got a camp, I'll start letting people in. Um, but at the minute, I'm not the boss of my own gym, so I've got to abide by rules right now. But um, this is what this is what boxing is about. People want to see what you get up to behind closed doors, and they got a little sneak peek now. Indeed. Let's talk a little bit about Dennis Backtop on Saturday. Yeah. Ninth pro contest. So far, you've had eight wins, eight KOs. Confident of doing the job on Backtop? You have to be confident. You got to have faith. You got to believe in something, and that's myself um, and my coach. So yeah, I believe I can. I can definitely get the job done. Mm -hmm. Looking at the other names in the mix, I know you're guaranteed to fight Michael Scott. That fight's already been made. Are you looking ahead? I'll pass back off for the for Scott encounter. Nah, I gotta beat. I gotta beat back to first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's all that matters right now. Um, I've, I've obviously watched Sprott just as a as an inspiration. He's achieved great things. So I've I've watched Sprott throughout the boxing scene. So I know a lot about him just from watching him. But um, now thinking about fighting him. Doesn't blo doesn't boil my blood yet. It's only back to that gets my blood boiling right now. Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury in action. Ah, oh, that's going to be great, night. man. I can't wait for that. Can I get a prediction? There, you see that fight going? I don't like that's. You know what I'm right. I can't. You can't predict until the final bell. But I'm going to root for my main man, uh, Chisora, London guy. Uh, he's a bruiser. It's going to be tough. Don't get me wrong. Like boxing's not easy at that level. If he can, if he can evade the punches early on and understand it's a 12 round fight and uh, not rush in steaming early on and get caught with a lot of shots. He's just got to buy his time early, you know, take Fury's jab away and close him down. Does, does it excite you that you could potentially be fighting these names in 2015? Is it 2015? I don't know that. But it is what it is, isn't it? It's another <laughs> fight. Um, I went to the Welsh, Europeans, Olympics. You know, it was a great honour to fight at Wembley. They're all, they're all just fights really, the day comes, the day goes, it's just another, it's just another stepping stone. You kind of take these things in your stride? Yeah, 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 definitely. No pressure, no excitement. All right. just, uh, I just crack on, get, well, get the job done. Last but not least, have you got a message to all the people to come out and support on Saturday and get behind you? Yeah, like it's been a year, a year and a day today. Um, what an honour it is to be back at the O2. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot different from the first one. I think. Matram as a stable, as a, as a promotional company have progressed as well with some of their ideas. I think hopefully I've progressed as a fighter. My opponent surely a lot better as well. So uh, I think it makes for a good night of boxing. I've got a lot of people that didn't come for the first one coming out to this one to see their, to see their local guy in a little dust up. And we've got a belt on the line. So me and Bactiv have got something to fight for. So um, it's going to be like two, two pit bulls fighting for a piece of steak. Right, so, yeah, I'm listen. looking forward to it, so I hope everyone tunes in, or, or if you're there, get your AJ banners out and, uh, and have a good time. Right, well, listen, stay hungry. <laughs> stay humble. I'm always starving, you know this. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>